just as a basis start to keep things simple here uh, at the high school level. All right. You guys probably don't have the, the, the money or the budget to be buying neck machines left and right. We're very fortunate we have 10. Um, but ways you can progress and start with what you have or, or do not have, okay? Very simple is a term we call self-serve, okay? Teaching your guys how to brace and flex, all right, the neck musculature and the, the areas you want to target, but to simply identify how to move through the range of motion and the movements that we want to target. So self-serve, all right, we can work and teach flexion. All right, or front neck, so we want him to drive his chin down through his chest, but also conceptually here, if I flick him or I grab him, he's tensed up right now. All right, the thought process is if I'm gonna choke you out right now, you're gonna fight getting choked. So flexion would be in the front, we'll have him roll his eyes through the back of his skull, try to look at your brain, all right, that'll bring him back into extension. And again, he's braced right here, all right, you can see him straining, teaching him how to clench through everything, okay? And relax, coach. We can do this for time, all right, in the beginning, just to teach them how to go through. If you do that for 20 seconds, you've never trained your neck before, you're gonna feel it, all right? Especially in the front on your flexors, you'll start to feel like you're choking. All right, so again, simple way to teach, all right? It's not invasive, you don't need equipment, all right? From here, once, once we can teach kids how to move, we can start moving into some isometric positions, okay? So I'm gonna have Coach lay on the ground here. Again, how do you teach if you say you're the only guy? Okay, say you work at the high school, you're the only guy, you're trying to teach 30, 40 guys right now how to do manual resistance. That's kind of hard to trust your players at the start of it, okay? So what we can do is, again, looking at flexion or front neck first, we can have coach go into an isometric hold, so he's going to go into flexion right now. Coach and Q, drive your chin into your chest this whole time, okay? Now, I really care about Coach Buke right now, so as I talk here, we're going to leave him sit in this, all right? The thing about this is now, again, how do you progress this, all right? We can start with four 15-second holds, okay? That would be day one. Next, second time you come back, four sets of 30, okay? You can work up to four sets of one minute if you want, all right? Just holding it in an isometric position like this. The flip side now, all right, when you start to get into manual resistance, all right? Manual resistance, all right? The guy operating it, okay, so if I'm running it, I have to know how to operate manual resistance. But this guy who I'm training right now, he's got to understand manual resistance too, okay? So again, I'm going to leave Coach Buke here while we, we teach manual resistance because I care about him so much. All right, so manual resistance, all right? Again, talk about tension, okay? So at the start of the movement, all right, we'd put Coach Buke into neutral. You can relax, Coach, go to neutral. All right, now he's not going to come up into flexion yet, but we're going to say, Tension, tension, okay? Right now I can feel tension, okay? If I'm gonna spot manual resistance for front neck or flexion, I'm gonna take my off hand, all right? I'm gonna put it under his chin, I'm gonna cup his chin. This is gonna allow me to feel pressure through the range of motion and from the get-go, which is what I want, because I want him driving his chin actively through his chest, all right? I'm gonna use my other hand, all right? I'm gonna brace his forehead, okay? Because that's gonna put me in leverages right now, okay? So I can always win here. 